Hey guys, welcome back to another movie review. Um, this is Ivo once again, and today I'm going to talk about and review a film that I watched last night, and that's the Suicide Squad came out this year, was released in the U July 30 and in the US August 5. I had a pleasure to watch it last night with my friend in movie theater, and I really, really enjoyed the film. Um, I really had fun, um, it was really a great evening um, with my friend, we, saw, we went to, um, uh, to a pizzeria to get a pizza and then we went to see a movie theater and I really had fun watching the film and um, I wanted to do, uh, usually I don't review new movies but I wanted to review a, a new uh, 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 a DC comic book movie because I don't I, I have not reviewed any of the DC comic book films and I don't talk about the new new movies at all I'm not interested in reviewing new movies um, but <clears throat> I decided to to review a DC movie um, I did review Superman and Batman and this is gonna be my first uh, DC uh, movie review that's not involved Batman and Robin. And you can see my favorite DC comic book superhero film is right there from the 99 Batman, my favorite Batman. Um, I did, uh, I did a 32 special anniversary. And yes, this is uh, this, the, the right there poster. That's my favorite DC comic book film, my favorite superhero comic book film. And uh, yeah, and I really had fun watching this movie. The Suicide Squad is an entertaining, decent, good movie. Um, definitely one of this is uh, better one uh, ra better one movies um, and um, it's better than predecessor the first movie was directed by David Ayer um, written by him and it was page 13 and I thought the first movie was more uh, was more a, um, a time waster a mediocre time waster um, a lame one, a lame time waster. I didn't care about the film the that time, you know. Um, and uh, usually, I, I really have to give the credits because the Suicide Squad is a really good movie. I had fun in the movies last night. I did not regret it. And this movie is rated R, written directed by James Gunn, who also uh, direct wrote and directed um, Galaxy uh, Guardians of the Galaxy One and Two. And the first one I really enjoyed, the second Galaxy, I hated it, it sucked in my opinion, so it was overrated and it sucked. Um, but the Suicide Squad, I really enjoyed the film, um, it's really there, people are all dying and there are so many plot twists that you don't uh, know what to expect. And I really liked the film, um, I really had fun, it's like I said, it's a really good uh, DC movie, better ones uh, than before. Cause the DC movie since 2013, since Man of Steel came out, I didn't see any good DC movies. You know, Batman and Superman, Down of Justice, I hated it. It sucked, I hated that movie. Justice League Way, I hated it. Have not seen Zack Snyder's director's cut, um, but, the, but, the, but his theatrical cut sucked. I hated it. Aquaman sucked. Wonder Woman, to me, sucked. So they did a sequel, Wonder Woman 1984, and I did not watch the film, I had no interest in it, but I read so many bad uh, reviews about the film. I think, uh, I think uh, that movie really failed. Um, have not seen Birds of Prey uh, with Mar uh, Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, I uh, had no interest in it either. Um, but the DC didn't have that much good movies so far but this is definitely one of better ones and uh, i definitely put this movie in my top 10 favorite dc movies definitely it's very high you know in my top five uh favorite dc movies now um hopefully sunday i'll get this movie on blu-ray um or at least dvd but i would lo love to have a blu-ray in this movie um but yeah this is my favorite dc comic book film the suicide squad is right there which is really good one. Um, I won't call this movie the best or um, the greatest one. No, but a really, uh, a really solid, decent movie that I liked it. Um, I think that James Gunn did a good job direction. I think the cast did fine. The visual effects, the action, and also the it has humor in it. 
they all work, uh, they all did great, it was all fun, it's rated air. Um, now, uh, the Suicide Squad talks about, um, I had to wrote down, uh, about uh, about two task force X teams. So Amanda Weller, played by Viola Davis, she's uh, the head of the Argus. Um, it was mentioned in uh, Arrow. If you watch TV show, you know in Arrow it was mentioned. She's the the head, uh, the director, the head of Argus. You know, um, I don't know what the fuck is Argus. I'm not into it that much. But yeah, Amanda Weller um, assembles two task force. You know. Um, two teams in which she sends them on a remote control uh, r remote uh, in the um, in the remote enemy and few infused island of Corte Maltese you know and uh, she assembles two teams and we we, uh, we the, the audience at first thinks that there's only one team but there are two teams that go on the remote control the first team is only the diversion um, and uh, yeah, their mission is actually to this to find and destroy uh, uh, Nazi era la laboratory Jotunheim, um, uh, uh, a secretive experiment known as Project Starfish, which is very important mission. And honestly, I really think that uh, uh, these people should not go, uh, should, should should not fuck with uh, with Amanda Weller because she can kill you ruthlessly. Um, and I really like that because in this movie, you know, people die. So uh, Bloodsport, played by Idris Elba, um, <clears throat> he uh, he's actually forced uh, into action. Um, he's now in. Uh, uh, he's actually serving time in the penitentiary. He's uh, um, he's actually um, <clears throat> he's actually a mercenary. You know, called Bloodsport. He's a mercenary, and he kills. He has a daughter. Uh, he thought he's supporting. He, he's a he's a lousy father. He's forced, you know, uh, to go on this mission because it's important with his team. The other one is uh, is actually led by Rick Flag, played by um, uh, Joel Kinnaman. And honestly, I hate the guy. I hate them because what he did to Robocop. There is no excuse what he did. He should apologize, but he never did. But I do respect in this movie, you know. By the way, spoiler alert, he dies in this movie. So thank God, you know, because I hated him so much. I hated him even the first uh, uh, Suicide Squad. I hated him. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I don't like the actor at all. <laughs> um, but this movie, he did fine. Um, so yeah, the first team, uh, uh, the first team, um, Task Force X, you know, goes on a remote island. Um, you know, when, when they, uh, when, uh, one of those, um, uh, when one of, when one of those teams, you know, drowns, gets drowned. We also see Michael Rocker is in this movie. Michael Rocker from Cliffhanger, you know, he goes and he tries to save the, um, uh, one of his members, you know, because he's a mercenary, he's a, a, a weapons expert. One of those teams, you know, betrayed um, uh, be, uh, betrayed his own team and he alert uh, the soldiers of um, of um, <clears throat> of Corte Maltese and they go under the fire you know they, they actually all uh, surrounded and uh, they are uh, attacked by soldiers you know and, and like the first three minutes we already we already have firefight and we see like all the all these superheroes they actually get and killed you know left and right they get killed we see a, we see Harley Quinn played by Margaret Robbie with rocket launcher you know six hour rocket launcher um, it's a Russian rocket launcher she uses a rocket launcher goes fires and blows guys to pieces you know he goes and she goes and destroys uh, bad guys to pieces you know and all her team members they all get dying you know the only one that actually survived. Is uh, is Rick Flag and uh, Harley Quinn, but Harley Quinn gets captured by Ma by the Maltese uh, soldiers, while uh, Rick Flag he gets captured by the rebels, you know. But it turns out they're on the same side; they're they're uh, allies, you know, in this. And um, so, <clears throat> um, also Harley Quinn finds that spear from one of her uh, team members. Um, I think was uh, I forgot that guy's name. Um, 
doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, but uh, but also I was kind of really surprised because in the open scene we see Michael Rocker with long hair, you know, uh, throwing some ball, and he goes uh, in the mission. And then he goes like a coward and runs away. He escapes, you know. And a man of all again tells him, the Susan, get back to the island. Get back to the island. He goes, keeps swimming. And she goes and kills him, you know. By the way, spoiler alert, because from now on, will only be spoilers. So if you if you didn't saw the movie, I suggest that you don't check, uh, you don't watch the video anymore. Um, turn it off, because there's going to be spoilers if you haven't seen the movie. But yeah, they go... And they go and um, she goes and kills him because it was a, it was a treason. That wasn't a part of a deal. The part of a deal is this, he stays on island and completes the mission. You know, and uh, yeah, so that actually happened. That the next team, you know, shows in the flashbacks, you know, that the next team they'll go on this island. Um, infiltrating the island because the first test, the first team was the version, you know. So the second team can infiltrate in the island because they get to go in the town to the jungle in the town um and uh, <clears throat> uh when they're actually in the jungle they know each other um uh, because bloodsport is now their leader um amanda waller uh, tells them that they have an uh, they have a new mission you know to save and rescue rick flag you know so all of them they go into this camp and show uh, they all show what they can do they go in uh, they go and kill all the all the bad guys. I really enjoyed it, you know. <laughs> Man, they they really did good job, you know. They kill everyone. <laughs> it turns out that, that they were actually rebels, you know. They they weren't their enemies. <laughs> Amanda Waller probably fucked up, you know. <laughs> and he she informed them falsely. Anyway, they they became an allies, you know. And uh, um, Alicia Braga from the from Predators is in this movie and. Uh, yeah, she agrees to to help them to stop, you know, uh, this dictator in the uh, <clears throat> in in her country, um, in this island. Um, um, Corte Maltese. Meantime, um, Harley Quinn. She's been captured and she's been brought to this president and um, uh, to to this guy, uh, president. Um, I think I wrote him down. Um, um, President General uh, Silvio Luna. Um, uh, uh, he's actually Silvio Luna. You know, he uh, he likes Harley and he goes and tries to be a romantic. tries to uh, make her that she uh, that uh, the, he proposed to her. She said yes, but then... She sees that that he's evil, you know, that uh, that he goes and that he wants to kill kids, you know. So she goes and uh, shoots him. She kills him. Then she's been tortured, you know, by um, uh, by um, I think was by uh, by Major General uh, Matias Guarez, his man, you know. And but she she goes and escapes and she kills all the army. But, you know, uh, like everyone dies. You know, she goes, she escapes, you know, she goes and kills all the army. You know, in the meantime, um, <clears throat> so now uh, also the the task X Force, you know, decides to save Harley. You know, when they go through, when they actually trying to capture uh, one of the guys that will bring them in, in Untelheim, you know, to destroy this project in this, uh, this facility. And um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so. They go to, to try to save Harley Quinn, but uh, she already uh, saved herself. <laughs> and she asks what they're doing here. Uh, they say, um, uh, Rick says that they wanna, that, that, that they try to rescue her, and she's like grateful. Um, so they have a new plan. They go with this guy into the facility, you know, with both teams. They go in the facility, um, in, the, in the Project Starfish. You know, and uh, they find out what in Newtonheim is going on, you know, this laboratory, what the, the crazy scientists are doing, you know, what they actually are doing. And um, they actually want to uh, destroy, you know, everyone and uh, everything, you know, so... <clears throat> so they try to stop that, you know, and the first team, you know, actually was... Uh, uh, the first team who were also, um, this guy, um, 
the pe uh, peacemaker, you know, in Rick Flag, you know, um, when Rick Flag finds out what his uh, government did, he decides to expose them. So he grabs the flashlight, uh, uh, the flash drive. He grabs the flash drive, but. Uh, um, Peacemaker promised, you know, to Amanda Waller that he will bring her the flash drive and it's never gonna go in the public and that's where uh, when they both cross the line, you know, and the man starts fighting each other, Peacemaker goes and kills Rick Flag. in this movie Rick Flag dies, you know, then he tries to kill, um, <clears throat> then he tries to kill, uh, Cat Ratchet too, um, I think, uh, yeah, Cat, uh, Cat Ratcher too, because she she saw him, she was a witness, you know, and she she tried to escape, um, but he tried to kill her, and that, that time, you know, we see, uh, we see uh, a few minutes back, you know, with the first team, you know, what's going on with the first team, and there's uh, tons of explosions, tons of building falls apart, you know, and I just enjoyed that. And Idris Elba falls down, you know, and he, uh, they both go like, uh, like with the, with the guns, shoot each other just like was in face off, you know, eat your hair out, John Woo, and they go, and, uh, and, and Idris Elba's boy goes and, and kills, uh, so hits right John Cena in the neck and gets killed. Um, I read that, I did not stick for the end of credits, um, but I saw that, but yeah, he's actually still, Peacemaker's still alive because they want to do a spin-off series from this film with him, bad idea, but okay. Um, so Starfish, uh, Project Starfish, Starfish gets alive, he uh, escapes, you know, and he uh, starts attacking the soldiers, the everyone, because he, uh, he wants to be the leader of this town, he wants to control this town. And um, because they got flash drive, you know, and uh, they they destroyed the time the 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 project, the the laboratory, the facility. They destroyed everything. You know, Amanda Waller evacuate. Uh, I wouldn't send to evacuate, but um, at first they want to. But Bloodsport goes back, you know, and uh, he decides to protect the innocent people. And Amanda wants to kill all of them because uh, uh, the less the rest of his team. They go back to him, you know, they actually go all back to him, you know, and um, yeah, they actually go back to him and they go, they fight, uh, they fight uh, the starfish, you know, who throws uh, all these things, you know, this, 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 this um, uh, ha uh, men, this uh, huggers in their face, you know, to control everyone and, uh, <clears throat> and of course, um, now, of course, blood sport, you know, uh, one of the employees uh, clocks Amanda Weller down, you know, because she tried to kill the heroes, they go destroy, you know, they go and destroy the, um, <clears throat> uh, the, the, the project Starfish, I love it, Honey Green grabs, um, she goes and she grabs, you know, the the spear goes in the, his fucking eye, stabs him in the fucking eye. She goes right in the eye, you know, in, in the water. That time the um, cat ratcher calls all the city rats. They go, you know, and eat the starfish right in the eye. Destroy the alien. They destroy it to pieces, you know. I really enjoyed that, you know. And, um, and Amanda is now um, awakened. Um, <clears throat> Plus, poor Tessin, that they actually... Uh, have the flash drive, it's gonna go public and un unaware, they let him go, you know, uh, if they try to destroy, you know, his, um, his daughter or their, them, you know, they, uh, they deserve a freedom, you know, so they all let, let go, and, uh, yeah, man, they agreed with that, and I just, yeah, that's actually the movie ends, I really liked it, you know, um, now the cast, now this movie was um, budget uh, uh, 185 million dollars, but it was a box office disappointment. You know, it was a box office bomb. Um, it only earned 156 million dollars, and uh, and uh, worldwide, yeah. And of course, opening weekend, 60, uh, 26 million dollars in US Canada, um, gross only 53 million dollars US Canada. And it was a box office bomb. It earned only 156 million dollars. It didn't surpass the budget that they that they actually uh, caused it. You know that they uh, that they invested in this movie. A writing directed by James Gunn. I thought James Gunn did a good job directing. I thought the direction was really great. 
the, the visual effects for Starfish and uh, King Shark, you know. Sylvester Stallone, my favorite action star is in this movie. Um, from this movie, you know, right there, Demolition Man. And of course, you know, I'm a huge fan of Sylvester Stallone. I did not know that Stallone is in this movie. I saw by the credits when they did. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, Stallone is in this movie and uh, he plays King Shark. I love King Shark, I love the visual effects. For King Shark, fantastic visual effects. Um, I did not recognize uh, <laughs> when when Sylvester Stallone had uh, his voice, you know. But James Gunn wrote uh, specifically the character for Sylvester Stallone, and he did a fantastic job. He did a great job, you know. My action favorite action star. He did a great job. Um, the visual effects, you know, for Starfish um, <clears throat> and CGI are really great. They're really uh, they're really good. Um, I read it that Starfish has more practical effects than CGI. That's still good one. Um, the the cast did a great job. Um, um, first off, Margot Robbie, Sally Queen, you know, a crazy criminal, uh, former psychiatrist and the lover of Joker. She did a fantastic job. Margot Robbie did excellent. I read it that she's uh, gonna be uh, once again Harley Quinn. The actress is talented. She's really great, you know, Australian. She's from Australia. She's married. She's fantastic. Um, she's awesome. Idris Elba, Bloodsport. Um, Robert Dubis, a mercenary, you know, Bloodsport. He also, I think Bloodsport is from the movie, from Van Damme, you know, from uh, Hard Targets, uh, uh, Hard Target, you know, Van Damme. You know, blood sport because uh, it is ever talks about the mark that touch that was from blood sport in which Van Damme played. You know, from this movie, from this movie. You know, he played and. Um, but yeah, Idris Elba did a great job. Will Smith was actually set to reprise the role as uh, uh, that shot, but because of uh, scheduling conflicts with another movie that he was filming, King Richard. He had to leave the project, so Idris Elba was announced to replace him as that shot, but uh, it was later decided to write a new character, so that um, <clears throat> so uh, that Will Smith could return in the in the future for the next uh, Suicide Squad movies. Um, but I thought that that was cool that Idris Elba played a different character. Idris Elba was also in this movie, um, uh, 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 Fast and Furious Presents, Hobbs and Shaw. I saw that movie in movie theater too. He was a bad guy, Idris Elba. So that's the most I remember him from that movie, from 2019. Um, but yeah, Idris Elba's Bloodsport did a fantastic job. You know, I love, I love the, the fight scene between uh, John Cena and... Um, and uh, and uh, and Joel Kinnaman. What I was confused is why uh, why was there a, a reflection in the uh, in uh, Peacemaker's helmet? You know, instead showing the camera how those two guys are fighting. You know, I would rather see that instead. Um, but yeah, um, John Cena did a good job, Peacemaker. Too bad he he lost uh, um, he lost Universal Championship against Roman Reigns. Um, too bad he lost. I think he doesn't have what he takes anymore. Um, also, I feel bad that Goldberg couldn't defeat um, um, uh, um, uh, Bobby Lashley. Um, but yeah, I guess they they aren't. Because there are too many, too much, too much absence, you know, from uh, WE. I guess, I guess they don't have it anymore. Um, but John Cena did a good, good job as a peacemaker. Um, Joel Kinnaman man uh, was okay. I'm glad he was that he died. That he was killed. I didn't, I didn't care about him. Um, Sylvester Stallone, fantastic as the new King Shark. He was excellent, you know, King Shark was also in The Flash, in the TV show season 2, episode 15. Uh, there's King Shark, one of my favorite movie, uh, favorite episodes from The Flash. Um, Seth Stallone did, uh, did uh, uh, lend a voice for the new King Shark, fantastic. You know, King Shark eats people, I love that he goes and eats people. Um, really good job, I mean, uh, King Shark really did a good job, you know. He goes and chews starfish. Which I liked it. The finale, the finale was uh, excellent. It was great executed. 
I like when Carly Queen goes in the uh, when she's tortured and she goes, you know, and kills. Uh, he, she goes and breaks that guy's neck with her legs, grabs with her with her toes on the on the the leg, you know, and grabs with the key, opens uh, with the key. I don't know if if, uh, if that was a CGI or Margot Robbie really did perform that stunt. Was really was really hard to do it. But she did it, she set her free, she goes and kills all the army with her guns, she, she, she keeps fighting and kills all the bad guys and enjoy that. Um, um, uh, also, um, Daniela Mils, Mil, Milkar, Mil, Milkor, um, she played Cleo, Gazo, Ka, Gazo, uh, Redcatcher 2, just called her Redcatcher 2. Um, Daniela, she did a great, good job. I enjoy her. You know that she called all the rats. Um, there are two rats uh, used for uh, Sebastian. Um, um, there are two rats. Um, when Bloodsport scared of the rats, you know, and he explains why. Um, and uh, Sebastian tries to be friends with uh, with with, uh, <clears throat> with Bloodsport. You know, um, I really enjoy that. Um, Alice Braga I didn't care for um, the rest of the cast. I didn't care for whoever was in the movie. Um, so the the visual effects are are, are, are spectacular. They're excellent. The uh, um, the the v, uh, the FX you know were actually made by Frame Store, Veta Digital, Trickster, Scanline, um, v, uh, VFX, and. Uh, um, and Cantina Creative, those are the the uh, the visual effects were made from those productions. Um, they did uh, the, like I said, no, I have nothing but praise for the King Shark, you know, visual effects and Starfish, Plunging Starfish was excellent. Um, <clears throat> and also um, Storm Reach, she played Tila, Bloodsport's daughter. When she visits him in the penitentiary, in the penitentiary she's six year old teen. She goes once again to prison, and Bloodsport has to agree in order to save his daughter, you know, from getting prison, from real prison, you know, to serve time um, in um, in Bel Air, you know, to serve time, just like his father. He agrees to uh, he agrees. Uh, um, to uh, to do to go on this suicide mission, you know that's how that's how um, the the how that's how um, the the task force X is called the suicide squad, you know they go on a suicide mission, which there's no way back, you know unless you'll be killed, and um, uh, yeah, um, I saw the the general and. Uh, uh, Major General was, I think, was killed by, um, I think was he was killed by Starfish or by Shark, I don't remember. Um, but uh, the, the rest of the, the parties that wanted to uh, own the, uh, uh, this country, um, the, this country, um, <clears throat> Corte Maltese, you know, they got ki killed by the rebels, you know, Alice Braga and her, and her, People they get killed, um, and uh, yeah, I actually really liked. Yeah, they actually go and killed, you know. Um, but yeah, I really liked the twist um, in the open scene. I thought that they're gonna survive. This is this movie. Th this team and movie is completely different from Avengers. In Avengers, bar barely no one dies. You know, fucking Avengers always survive. This movie, you know, superheroes. Who are criminals? They get killed. They they get killed. And don't even expect the twist. I didn't expect that Michael Rucker is gonna be alive. I didn't watch the trailer. Didn't care for the trailer. So I didn't expect that Michael Rucker. Uh, I thought he's gonna be uh, that he's gonna last longer, but he gets killed, you know. And Michael Rucker says it's still on wooden cliffhanger together. They didn't they did not uh, share screen time in this movie, but yeah, he gets killed, you know. The the rest of the team, you know, flag team gets in the open scene and killed. I love Harley Quinn with, uh, with a rocket launcher blows uh, blows uh, the fuckers to pieces, you know, the the soldiers to pieces. She, she goes and kills them to pieces, you know. And I love the team how they go and kill those bad guys, you know. I love that, you know, when they when they try to rescue Rick Flag, um, I really do love that, you know. When King Shark goes and eats <laughs> eats man, I love that, you know. Um, but yeah, but. 
<clears throat> the same, you know, but this is a really good DC movie in my opinion. Um, I saw the, the Marvel uh, doesn't have any good movies either. You know, um, they don't have any good movies now. Since Deadpool 2, I compare this movie with Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 is the last good movie in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> the next movies like Ant-Man the Wasp, it sucked. Avengers, Infinity War, and Endgame, they both suck. I watched Endgame in movie theater, it was three hours, way too long, I fall asleep. It sucked, it's overrated, it sucked, the movie. Um, what's more, um, <clears throat> Captain Marvel sucked. Captain, uh, this movie, how's it called, this garbage, uh, Black Widow fucking sucked. I hate that piece of trash garbage movie. The worst fucking movie I have ever seen. Fuck Black Widow, you know. And the Marvel also has nothing but shitty movies, you know, so... But yeah, the Deadpool to me was the last good movie, because it was rated there. And the Suicide Squad, you know, James Gunn has balls. This movie has balls. It's rated there. People are dying, you know. In the rest of these fucking movies, no one dies, you know. In Anthony the Wasp, no one fucking dies. They're all garbage, you know. Captain Marvel, no one fucking dies. They're all, they're all losers. Black Widow, no one dies, they're, they're losers, you know. Endgame, oh, so they go and kill Tony Stark, Black Widow, no remorse for Black Widow. But they do a family film, a fucking prequel. You know, they need to stop shitty prequels and sequels, you know. The same is with Marvel, but DC finally did, in my opinion, a really good movie, you know. Um... No, yeah, it actually really was a good movie. Um, too bad it was box office bomb. Um, I saw producer Zack Snyder. Uh, uh, Zack Snyder was also a producer who directed um, Man of Steel and Batman v Superman Down Justice. Justice League, who I hated those two movies. Um, and uh, I saw Viola Davis. She plays Amanda, Va Amanda Waller. Um, she's based on a comic book. She did a good job. And... Uh, yeah, she did a good job, and I love by Amanda Waller, don't fuck with her, cause she's gonna kill you, you know, she, she's gonna ruthlessly kill you without remorse, you know, and uh, she wants what she gets, and I, I love Amanda Waller, she really did a good job, you know, Viola Davis, um, the plot is, did, uh, the, uh, is actually excellent, the movie is really good, um, the cast works fine, I um, already said who did a good job, in my opinion, Idris Elba, Margot Robbie, um, <clears throat> Sylvester Stallone, um, and John Cena, and of course Daniela, um, um, Miltz, Mil I can't pronounce her last name, but Daniela, she, the actor, she did a good job, um, I didn't expect Michael Rocker to get killed. I did not expect that Joel Kinnaman will be get killed, you know. And I did not expect that. Uh, I did not expect the twist. And also when um, when Harley Quinn, you know, she said that she's gonna marry um, uh, uh, the president, you know, in the, in this uh, country, um, Corte Maltese. I thought so now she she got what she wanted, and I thought she's gonna uh, choose him, and she's gonna be uh, now a bad guy. But no, she she doesn't. She kills him, you know, because she sees nothing but that he's evil. She's not killing the kids, you know. She she sees he's an evil. She goes and kills him, you know. So yes, I like that, you know, in the film. I really like that in the film. Um, that was really good. It was excellent. Um, <clears throat> let's see uh, what did I do. Um, Yeah, the first Suicide Squad was page 13. I thought it was just lame film. I wasn't interested. I had no, uh, I had no um, interest um, um, that I, I thought it was nothing but time waster. The other film, uh, um, <clears throat> the other film, uh, Birds of Prey, I didn't care for. I didn't give a fuck about it. Um, the music was by John Murphy. I enjoyed the music by John Murphy. And I, and I like the movie that it's rated air, you know. Um, but yeah, The Suicide Squad, I really enjoyed it. I really liked the film. Um, it's a little shame that it's box office bomb. It's really a shame, you know. Because it's really a good movie. It's a really a good movie. Um, 
And yeah, James Gunn did know he knows how to do a good movies. And like I said, I enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy. I was a little surprised that James Gunn directed. I'm glad he replaced the the previous director and he directed. You know, he wrote the specifically the character for uh, Sylvester Stallone. You know, Sylvester Stallone was in Guardians of the Galaxy Part Two, but he was only the open scene and by the finale, he didn't do nothing. His character was useless. This was better character, and Stallone agreed to do this movie, you know. And it was, uh, like you know, I'm a biggest fan of Sylvester Stallone. It's my favorite hero. Um, John Rambo is my favorite character. My favorite movie of all time. First Blood is my favorite film. Demolition Man right there, you know, with Cobra, Cliffhanger, you know, Rocky Four and other great movies that Sly did. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad that I saw me and my friend had the times, you know, we actually had a ball, you know, we had a time of our lives, a ball last night. It was really excellent. It was fantastic evening. Uh, I mean, I'm really, I really had um, uh, 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 a joy to watch this movie and I'm glad I saw it in movie theater. I don't regret it, nothing. Um, but yeah, that's uh, my movie review on the Suicide Squad sequel to the first Suicide Squad um, DC comic book film. An entertaining, good uh, uh, comic book superhero film. Um, and also you have tons of twists. People are dying, a lot of action, um, explosions, um, great uh, practical effects, CGI, great direction, great story, um, really good story. Um, so yeah, so uh, a really by the end a really good comic book f superhero film. Also the the characters they're anti heroes but they turn into our heroes. You know I think this movie is much better than all the Avengers together, but it's just my opinion. Um, anyway, that's my movie review on the DC film The Suicide Squad. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good day. And I'm out. Peace. Bye bye.